Okay, everybody, this is how I change my colors in the middle of the row. I just, I'm going to do single crochet just to show you, even though I'm always using HDC. I'm going to use single crochet just to show you. Now, I'm going to add my next, I'm going to add my next single crochet like that. And then the next one is where I'm going to change. This is going to be the last white before I change. And I do the extended crochet just to lock down that next stitch. I only do the extended crochet when I'm changing my colors, only so that I can lock it down. I like to keep it locked down so that it doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to add blue. Now this is what I do. I take the blue and I add it to the hook. I pull it through. I'm going to pull down on the white yarn just so that it could get tight. And then I'm going to crochet over this right here. I do not tie any knots. And I'm going to tell you why. I don't like little bumps in my in my blankets. I don't like that um, sometimes it leaves like a little knot. I don't like that. What I do is I crochet kind of tight enough so that when you crochet over this, it doesn't come out after you block it. When you block it, it shrinks up and it doesn't come out. So then I go to my next Go to my next stitch and just crochet regularly. Crochet. With a single crochet. And here you go. Just keep on crocheting. And you crochet on top. It's hard doing that and holding a, a camera. So. But basically, I just crochet on top. Just keep crocheting on top of this. So the loose string is going to be underneath. The loose string be right here underneath. And, um... It'll eventually go away. It, it eventually, when you block it, it eventually shrivel up and it won't come out. That's what I do. I have another way also. Okay, the other way I have is basically locking it in. I um, do the same thing, basically. Get this one ready to do my switch. Add the blue. And I go in. I pull down on the white to make it a little tight. And I take my blue and wrap it around the white. Wrap it around so that it intertwines. Then when it's wrapped around, it's wrapped around like at least twice. I take that and I crochet under just like I did before. When I crochet under, it gets crocheted in. And then I keep doing the same thing. Just keep crocheting it in. Crocheting it all the way until I get to the end. Once I get to the end, once I get to the end, I go to I can't go no more, and then I pull it to where I can't see it anymore, and here you go. Now, the only reason why I have this white hanging is because sometimes I'll add that in. 
I'll weave it in or I'll have it hanging because I'm going to need it on the next row. So I'll leave it like this. But this is how it looks. You don't see any strings hanging. And it's good. And it's neat on both sides. And it's good to go on both sides also. And I just do it like that because I don't like any knots. I don't like anything hanging. And that's just how I do it.